hello darlings welcome to my platform thank you for watching and supporting as always so we're just picking up from where we left off yesterday if you want to uh know the beginning of this story watch the latest post on my platform um and then this is the second part to it so we are starting off with the five of wands out here this group of karmics are fighting amongst themselves because the truth is being re um exposed about them um there is either a law enforcement officer in this group this could be like a pi that was paid to investigate something but this person could have went haywire this could be like a military official there is something of that magnitude going on here where this person took some type of or accepted some type of bribe to do something right he may have use his security access, his clearance access to violate someone's privacy. And this is how these people have been able to uh, monitor this feminine energy, this divine energy. You're going to jail, sir. You are absolutely going to jail. Um, and I hope when you are locked up, you can think back um, over what you did because you're going to be locked up. And when people ask you, what did you get locked up for? Oh yeah, for violating someone's privacy because we wanted to stop them do you hear how that sounds i don't know if people don't think about stuff is that when people come to you and offer you money to go do something stupid what you're doing is saying i'm my soul i'm worth whatever money you're giving me so if someone offers you like two thousand dollars three thousand dollars to go do something stupid or illegal and you accept that money what you're basically saying is this is what i'm worth this is what my soul is worth you can buy me for two thousand dollars okay um you're accepting two thousand dollars to be led into the slaughterhouse basically it's ridiculous but this king of swords and this group of people are having nightmares mental conflict mental torment um a lot of anxiety about all of the illusions they've been causing to a whole community of people right all of the endings they were uh, planning for someone all of the heartbreaks they were planning for someone um just know that whoever you are this this message resonates with the universe is on your side you are heavily protected you have your ancestors watching over you and things like that um this is just absolutely barbaric it's almost as though these are like empty vessels walking about the face of the earth and they would do anything for money there is something in here about a marriage it's like either it's a false marriage like two people are pretending to be married married or something like that but there's something here about a marriage it's kind of like a bearded marriage or just a fake marriage um it's like either two people got married to get a hold of a of, of inheritance something like that there's something in here about a child as well um there could be someone pretending like a child belongs to a masculine or Someone had a child by a masculine to trap him in a relationship, but there is something going on here about a child as well. It's just a lot of trickery going on, um, unnecessary trickery. It's like these people did not expect for things to turn out this way. Um, someone is trapped in a marriage in an institution with a high priestess in the reverse. This is someone that's dark as can be. This is someone that's, that operates from their shadow side. Um, this is someone that will do spell works and things like that to bind people to her. Um, this is how she controls people. So if you think you're in love with this woman, it's not a genuine kind of love. This is a love that is forced. It's not of free will. There is something in here about a king of cups, maybe wanting to come in and give you something to make it seem like he is genuinely interested in you. No one in this group is worth your time. Okay. As you can see, there's even a love enforcement officer here that went haywire. It's that you go through all of this work to get to this level of success in your career, just to throw it away for something like this, something this ridiculous if you think about it sir or ma'am whoever you are you work that hard to get to that level of success in your career so you can throw it away for something this immature is that what i'm getting how much money did they pay you was it like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand you're telling me that's all you're worth i'm broke as can be and i still will not accept that amount of money to do anything stupid i kid you not I am broke as heck, but I will never accept any type of payout from anyone to undercut anyone. 
because if you have to undercut anyone or anything to get something, that is not a blessing. You are stealing. That's barbary. That's what that is. Do not call that a blessing because it is not a blessing. That is something you are forcing to belong to you. There is a masculine in here that is competing with a woman as well for her, her divine inheritance, her birthright. And he's out here pretending like he has nothing to do with this situation, but he does. This is someone that's going about pretending like he had nothing. He knows nothing about what's going on, but he knows exactly what's going on. Detail for detail. There's a woman in here as well that's pretending. This is someone cold hearted. And it's not just, it's not this king of queen of cups. It's another woman in here. Cold hearted. Likes any type of sympathy, empathy, whatever you want to call it. This is someone void of any human nature as far as emotions. This is someone strictly me mechanistic. These are the people you're dealing with, divine feminine, divine masculine, void of any human emotions, financially motivated, greedy as can be. It is ridiculous. These people feel entitled. This is what it is. They feel entitled. There could be someone that wants to come and speak their truth to you. There could be a message coming in very quickly. I think someone is just over this whole situation. Because they're realizing after all of the tricks that this group got together to pull off, nothing worked. I'm getting like a year. They've been doing this for over a year, paying people to do stupid stuff, and they have gained nothing from it. There was a plan to separate a family. Like someone was setting up some type of scenario to have your kids taken from you. Well, someone in this karmic group had their kids taken from them, or this is what's coming up. Someone has a plan to do some type of arsenic like they want to set a house on fire or a building on, high, on fire because they cannot have it. So they've pulled all of the tricks. Nothing worked. Now they are coming to this level of wanting to commit arsenic so that someone does not get what belongs to them. It's not going to happen. And even if it does, you're going to be responsible for that fire. You're going to have to pay for that property. This collaboration is not going accordingly it's not smooth sailing anymore it's a, it, there's a queen of wands in here either she's related to you related to the masculine it could be a mother or sister someone he was either in a relationship with that's involved in this collaboration this toxic situation okay you're showing up as a queen of wands and you may be speaking your truth you may be doing something that's bringing light to what's going on and these people may be sitting behind the scenes watching you and laughing and things like that they don't know they're being investigated as well you could have sent an email a message to someone call someone there is an investigation going on someone that was hired to come in and investigate went south he went left. She went left. The money they offered them was just too tempting to turn down. It was a tempting offer at a high price, at a very high price. If someone hasn't already, there is a plan to commit some type of arsenic crime, burn the building down, because I had a vision where I saw someone setting a building on fire, either a house on fire or a building, like a company building on fire, because they're so pissed off. Someone is throwing a fit. This is like a grown up throwing a fit because something that does not belong to them is not being given to them. Make it make sense. There's a king of cups in here that wants to propose something to you, wants to have a brand new passionate beginning with you, wants to come in, tell the truth. This person is watching you as well. All of these people are watching you in some way, shape, or form. Your privacy has been violated, so they are watching you on a daily basis. 
These are people that even may have access to your computers, your cell phones, and things like that. They're watching you. But rest assured you are okay. Nothing is going to happen to you. They've been doing this for a year, watching you and your family go on with your life, not paying them any mind, pulling stunts. These are grown-ups that just never grew up. These are hurt people that are still hurting, wanting to hurt other people. They met their match with you. It's like they barked up the wrong tree. You could be someone that portrays yourself as very calm. People may think you're a pushover, and then they F around and find out that it's not what they think it is. And these people are finding out. Something I always say about myself, I may walk alone in the flesh, but honey, in the spirit, you guys to have some type of death wish to come up against me because the whole universe moves with me 24 7. i am under surveillance 24 7. so whatever it is you're doing is being reported it's being shown to me before you even make a move before you bust a move i know now i may not say something about it but i'll let you carry out Whatever it is you think you're going to do, just so you can find out the hard way that it's not what you think it is. This is not what you think it is. Everyone in here, every single person in here has an ending coming for them. It's just not making sense. Yeah, these people are being left out in the cold. You're being told to let, leave that king of cups in the cold. This person could have been someone that stood by and watched these people bully you, you know, uh, mess with you, torturing you mentally and things like that, just playing with your mental. This person stood by and watched, never did anything. And now they want to come in and give you some type of passionate new beginning. It's not passionate for you. Turn him down, leave him out in the cold. This person has nothing to offer you that's going to make any changes in your life. These people are watching you, criticizing you. Is the King of Pentacles involved in here? Let me get clarity on this King of Pentacles, please. It's like it's so many characters in here, so many people, and none of them have common sense. To say, let's not do this. This is not so smart. This is what greed would do to you. This is what greed would do. So this King of Pentacles is seeing the truth. They may want to communicate with you. They want to speak to you. So there may be a message coming in from a King of Pentacles to clarify things with you because they see the truth now. This is someone who is a business owner as well. There are a lot of masculines in here. There's a masculine in here that is extremely obsessed with you. And obsessed is an understatement. This is someone that is sick mentally. Yes, this, this King of Pentacles is seeing you as the Empress. He sees you as the true empress, so he knows what these people were doing. Working together, collaborating to cause you an ending because they didn't want you having access to some type of abundance because of jealousy, because of greed, insecurities, things you had nothing to do with, things you cannot control. You can't control because you're beautiful. You can't control because you're abundant spiritually. You cannot control because you're confident. You love yourself. That's how we're supposed to be. But when people do not love themselves and have no confidence and are not willing to put in the work to be loving, kind, and confident, and beautiful from within, they'll do things like this and think it's okay. This is what this is. They did all of this for jealousy. It's all jealousy. All of these people did this for jealousy, insecurities, most of these people, they don't even know how they got this deep into this situation. They cannot go back and tell someone one thing that you did to them wrong. One wrong thing you did to them. They just know they don't like you. 
Look at this, honey. Look at this. You are showing up as not just the page of cups of an empress in the store. Oh, baby. These people effed up. Oh, my gosh. The amount of karma that is coming. You are someone that is a star seed, and you have the audacity to be living in the upright, to be kind to people, to be nurturing to people, to speak positivity and light into people. Oh, my baby. Listen. Oh, my goodness. These people are done. The universe does not play about you because you're someone that's doing what you're supposed to in the world. You have a calling on your life. So you're a star seed in this pool. Oh, that explains why they are this invested in taking you down because you are here to raise the vibration of the earth. And it bothers them. These people are obsessed with you. These people know when you go to sleep, when you eat, when you fart, when you don't fart, when you pick your nose, everything. They are aware of it. This is how obsessed these people are with you. It is so sad. So, so sad. Imagine losing your livelihood over something like this. These group of people losing their livelihoods, about to go to jail, be unemployed disadvantaged in life or because they are all invested in bringing an ending to someone someone in here goes around teaching people how to sap in light workers energy he prides himself in this and this is exactly what's going to happen to him where he's going he's going to know what it's like to fool around with people to play mental games someone is getting locked up that's where he's going and the prisoners in there are going to be fooling with him like nobody's business. His community is about to turn uh, exile him. Yeah, your character has been exposed. Oh my gosh. You're showing up as someone in the upright. You have high moral standards. This is something these people don't have. And it intimidated them. It bothered them. You know, dark workers like to highlight all of the negative aspects of other people, but they don't want you bringing anything up about them. They can tell you how bad you did this, what's wrong with you, but the minute you bring something up with them or about them, oh, she's a bee, she's this, and she's that. She did this to me. Have several seats. If you can dish it out, you should be able to take it. If you can dish it out, you should be able to take it. Not these kind of people. There's something going on about a court case that these people are going to lose. Someone may want to contact you and say, oh, please don't take us to court. Please don't sue us. We are so sorry. No, honey, you don't speak that language. Take them to court, get your money, file uh, charges against them. They need to go to jail because that's how they're going to learn. You don't have remorse for any of these people because they did not have remorse for you. If they would have succeeded in what they were doing, you wouldn't be here today. These people wanted to break you because they're broken. That's how bad it is. And if they would have succeeded, you would be a shadow of yourself, a shadow of yourself. Nothing like you're supposed to be. Nothing like you're showing up here. You're showing up as a page of cup, an empress, a star seed, and someone with good character. No one is saying that you're perfect. But you live right. You live in the right. You don't go out of your way to be malicious to people. You don't go out of your way to steal from people, to knock other people down, to make yourself feel good about yourself. No. And this is what they were going up against. And the universe is handing out whoopings like nobody business, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's due, well deserved by them. So don't feel sorry about any, about any of it. If anyone reaches out to you for help, you don't have any help to give, you're not able to, 
let them figure it out just like they wanted you to figure it out. These people wanted you in prison. These people wanted you experiencing endings. These people wanted you unemployed, heartbroken. These people wanted you mentally unstable with anxiety, and this is what they are experiencing. This is karma. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.